Who's there? Witcher Geralt. Get in here. <laughs> also waits upstairs. I go did that. Witcher Geralt. Bloody tell us what this is about. Just as soon as Geralt arrives. Least you can do is pour around. Bloody suspense has made my throat dry. You having fun, buddy? I hope you hurt yourself. I never fucking do something like that. All it takes is a very tiny slip up of not even just your mind's concentration, but just hand eye coordination. Whoops, your hand's gone! Ugh. Witcher, at last. Now we're all present. Run up the fucking creek. Why have you summoned us? Radovid's on his ship. We'll not get to him there, I told you. Stop it! I have an idea how to draw him onto dry land. But all in due course. Let's start by confessing our sins. I let Philippa Eilhart in on our plan. Mea culpa. Bravo! Bloody bravo! Now, now. It's not a disaster. The Lady Sorceress is highly unlikely to warn the brat. What's more, she's willing to help us kill him. Naturally, it's nothing I'll ever agree to. But Phil, she's inspired me. Call her my muse. Inspired you to do what? Patience. We've yet to get to the substance of the matter. Geralt, do I recall correctly that Radovid's hired you to find Philippa? Yeah, but, uh, you're nosy. It pisses me off. I don't care about that. Mm hmm But I wasn't interested. What's your point? We can use Philippa without involving her, provided you help. Radovid expects you to report to him, bring him information about her. All you need to do is mention her name, intimate that you've a lead, you're on her trail. Oh, he'll swallow that. Hook, line, sinker, and a good bit of the rod as well. Um, I don't think that Radovid would believe me at that point, but hey, let's see what happens. Let's say Radovid bites, believes me, and none of that's a given. What then? You'll tell him you've found Philippa's hideout, somewhere where we can easily set a trap and ambush. Suggestions? Bridge to Temple Isle. Built up both sides. Lots of nooks, gates. Easy to block off from the rest of the city. Good idea. I'll divide my men. Post half on one end, other half on the other, by the gate. And in the middle, Vess, with a well-oiled crossbow. You see, Geralt, all we ask is that you invite Radovid out for a stroll. Bring him to the bridge. We'll take care of the rest. So what'll it be? I can do it. I'm in. But once it's done, what then? There'll be an uproar in the city. Panic, maybe. Need a place where we can wait it out. Thought of that already. Remember Madame Arena's theater? Abandoned now, not a soul looks in there. Tala and I will await you there. Await us? Unwilling to risk your own necks? Not the point. Dijkstra and I have many cocksacking virtues, but fighting ability is just not one of them. Not as fit for that as we are for a bleeding beauty pageant. Don't worry, Geralt. My people are battle-hardened. They'll manage. You just bring them the king. Do what I can. Where's his ship moored these days? Just around the corner, in Novograd's port. Whew. And for your sake, I hope he's in a good mood when you look in on him. Hey, Philippa. My lads will make sure of that. Guards round the temple, what about them? Won't they bloody congregate when they see the fighting? If they're paid a tidy sum, they won't. Oh boy. Roach, what do you think of this plan? I can't talk to him directly. Okay, alright, fine. Let's go lure Radovid from the ship, which is directly in Novigrad now. Uh, is Philippa gonna try and do something? Philippa? What the hell are you doing here? Geralt, don't ask questions you know the answers to. It makes you look stupid. Eavesdropping on your conversation, naturally. With a good deal of interest. And a measure of wonder. Mind telling me what you found puzzling? Your naivety. Do you honestly believe Radovid will fall for such a crude ruse? Radovid's crazy. Doesn't think rashly anymore. Maybe not easily, but I think I'll manage. I like this one. 
Might be tough to trick, but I think I'll manage. Hmm. I hope you take a more serious approach to confronting the Wild Hunt. Provided, of course, you survive long enough to undertake it. Philippa, why even tell me this? Concerned about me that much? Not at all. It's because I think it vital that Radovid die. You don't want my help, more's the pity. But I shall do what I can to make certain you don't fuck it up. Here, take this. A ring. Redanian eagle etched in the ruby. It belonged to Vizimir, Radovid's father. Hand him that, and he may believe you captured me. He might even choose to trust you. Hmm. Okay, why are you doing this, though? What's the catch? There is none. Bullshit. Philippa, I know you too damn well. Always got a plan. Always got at least two irons in the fire. This time, I shall be content with one. Radovid's head planted at its end. Good luck, Geralt. You'll need it. I like how she can spend weeks as an owl. And then when she's finally free, she's totally fine with being back into one. Or turning back into one. Uh. Alright. Well, at least she helped me out there. If I had told Radovid about the crystal thing, Philippa would probably be dead by this point. And that'd be bad. I wonder if you'd still be able to trick him into coming out somehow. You definitely wouldn't be able to go, Philippa's here, because he'd be like, No, oh, but I've already killed her. <laughs> I'm mad of it. I'm crazy and evil. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is that his ship? The big-ass one? Yeah, it is. Holy crap. You know, now that I'm seeing it, in comparison to, like, say, a different normal-sized one, it's pretty intimidating. Uh, see, beforehand, when I passed by it in Oxenfurt, I was like, oh, this is a pretty normal-sized book. No, it's not. No, it's not at all. It's like looking at a baby elephant versus a full-sized mammoth. At least I'm pretty sure mammoths were bigger than elephants. I would have to research that a little bit more. Okay. I was about to just jump straight onto the boat. <laughs> but I don't think I can do it. Witcher Geralt, what do you want? An audience. Managed to learn something about Philippa Eilhart. I'll need your weapons. Now follow me. Your Majesty, the Witcher, with news of Philippa Eilhart. Hmm. You took your time. What is it? I know where she is. Perhaps. Or perhaps you seek to trick me. Like the others. I'm a professional. You can trust me. Wait, what about others? What others? Uh, you see, a rumor went around that I'd generously reward any who bring information about Isleheart. There's no shortage of the greedy and the stupid. So a queue quickly formed at the gangway to the ship. The first aboard was a hunter. Brought me a dead owl with no eyes. He thought I'd believe it. Shower him with gold. I had him blinded, then thrown overboard with a stone tied round his neck. The second was the postmaster from Oxenfurt. Claimed to have a letter she'd penned. It was forged, of course. I had his fingers cut off. He'll never write again. Oh. And I took his tongue. The spoken lie is just as reprehensible. Needless to say, the rest of the queue dispersed quickly. <laughs> right, of it, do you you realize you're absolutely insane, right? I mean, you look at this stuff and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll cut off his hands. I'll cut off his fingers and his tongue. Hmm. It's an appropriate punishment. Jeez. I'm a professional. Got a reputation to uphold. Be stupid of me to come to you empty-handed. My father's ring. Philippa used it to stamp her decrees, then distribute them as the word of the king. Where is she? Under your nose, sire. In Novigrad, 
in a house on the bridge leading to Temple Isle. Why haven't you brought her to me? Gotta capture someone to take them anywhere. All I did was track her down, then stole this ring as proof that I had. Do you fear her? No. You want to kill her yourself. With your own hands. I know this. You shall come with me. Hubrecht, gather the men. How many, sire? All of them. It's a trap, man, so it doesn't matter how many you bring, you're gonna get screwed over. Hopefully I'm just not in the crossfire. I can't believe well, you actually came for this. Where is she? Where is Philippa? Like I said, house on the bridge, closer to the other end. Close off this end. We need no guests, no innocent bystanders, all witnesses. Damian, Duke, Egbert, Freak, Kaspar. You shall stay here, secure the rear, and kill the Witcher. Uh, you don't know where Philip is exactly. This is how you thank those who serve you? <laughs> this how you reward those who serve you? It is how I punish those who irritate me. You know too much. You impede me too often. And I find your arrogance an annoyance. I've had men killed for less. Follow me. You're killing me for that too, though. Uh, it's fine. I'll be saved. He put me in the perfect position. Any last words? Ake me. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Free the Witcher. Then Radovid. No, I don't get to have my cool swords for this. Okay. I'll just dab away. <laughs> kill Radovid. Oh, I get to be the one to kill him? Fine. That's what I wanted anyways. Come on, come closer. Jeez, he really did bring a whole bunch of men. <laughs> hey, witch hunters, have some fire. Ah, oh, shit. How many... When did I use all these swallows? I could have sworn I regenerated them all. But I guess not. Oh, that's a lot of people. What if I grape shot bombed you, though? Back it up, back it up, or you're gonna get us both killed. This has to land between them. So that way they get hurt. Jeez, alright, I guess we're not dealing with that. Okay, all right. Just trying to get any kind of burn damage I can off of them. Woo, I'm getting shot at by archers and everything. Did we lose a guy? God damn it. Why'd you even come up here if that's all you could do? Okay. Let's end this. Two down, two more to go. Come on, buddies. Oh. What? Oh, I wanted to burn him though. Okay, we dealt with the situation. Come on, boys! Yeah! Uh oh. <laughs> That didn't go as I wanted it to! Oh, <sighs> okay, we're good now. All I want is to whirl everybody. What, you're still alive? Jesus. Okay, alright, we're getting in a bad situation here with all this fucking getting hurt and stuff. Come on, try and shoot me. Not you. Not, not you. Go get away from me. Damn it! Oh, it frustrates me so much that they can do that. I slightly held up my stick. That means I can stop all of your momentum. Nice. 
He resisted fire by bringing up his arm. Ow, ow, Jesus Lord. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some rappers to Coction so that way I get my health back. Jeez, nice, it heals so much now. Now that's superior, that is. Come on, come closer. Yeah, defend Radovid, last archer dude. Come on, bring it. Okay, I'm gonna whack you with my sword then. Enjoy the bleeding. Open up! I command you to open the door! It should be Philippa. Ha! Huh? You needed merely to ask. Settles the score. And that was from the heart. Oh, I expected him to get tortured a little bit there. So that was a catch. She Forgive wants to do me. the killing. I could not deny myself the pleasure. How did she? Where? Why? How the fuck? Eve's dropped on us back at the warehouse. What? And you didn't think it worth mentioning? Lads, the time to discuss this is later. Radovid is dead. It matters not by whose hand. Mission accomplished. Now let's get the hell away. Place will be thick with Redanians in minutes. Let's go. I am a little sad because I was totally ready to stab Radovid myself. Is it done? It's done. Though all did not go according to plan. More on that later. First a stiff drink and a toast. The North. Temeria. Temeria! Bloody Temeria! Uh, Temeria. Not too early to celebrate? Eh. Yeah. Temeria. Temeria. What now, Roach? A new guerrilla campaign against the Black Ones? No. The war just ended. How's that? There's something I don't know about? I'd say so. You see, tomorrow at noon, the commander of Army Group Center will sign a truce in Amir's name. A truce whose wording we agreed with Dijkstra. So back there in Velen, when the trolls nabbed you? Yes, I was returning from the last round of talks. Amir will keep Edion and Lyria, but in exchange for Radovid's head and a stop to guerrilla activities, he will withdraw from Temeria. Which will become the Empire's vassal state. Self-ruled internally, with its own courts, administrative structures and army. The silver lilies will bloom neath the rays of the great sun. So I say were I a poet, but I'm not. So all I'll say is there was no other fucking way. Um, wait, hold up now. Uh, Roach, you and Nilfgaard, I want the whole truth. Yeah, no, what, what the hell's going on here? Haven't told me the whole truth. You're right on that account. We know you're bloody allergic to politics, decided to emphasize mages and whatnot. If it were done when tis done, then twere well it were done quickly. That but this blow might be the be-all and end-all here. What's that? Vakmeth, Act 1, Scene 7. Always wanted to play that. Never cast as anything but a halberdier. Geralt, what Tala told you, put it out of your mind. There will be no truce with Nilfgaard. Redania, under my enlightened rule, will fight on until it wins. And when it does, it will unite all the North, including Temeria. Uh... What? Ow! This is not what we plow and agreed. 
true. Instead, we insisted on One Realm's questionable sovereignty, and to recover it, we gave Amir virtually all the North's other kingdoms. It was not a wise arrangement. So, no deal. You two-faced horseman. I will not allow this. Actually, you, Roach, should be the first to understand I've no choice. Why the hell would I understand? Because you too are a patriot. Geralt, this doesn't concern you. You may go. Fare thee well on your path, or what not. Wait, wait, oh, won't let you kill them. Yeah, definitely won't let you fucking kill them. Hold the hell up! Can't let you kill them, Dijkstra. Oh, hard luck. Then you'll die with them. Kill them all. One day someone's gonna fucking realize that I'm not gonna die because you sent, like, four normal dudes after me. Okay? Like, Redator, Radovid's men had a higher chance of surviving all of this. They at least had, like, shield dudes, right? Oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't know what I was supposed to do there, but I'm definitely not going to let Roach and Vest die. Whoa, is that Dijkstra? Oh, shit. I didn't expect him to actually be out here fighting for these guys. Woo! Alright, hold up. I need help. They're dead, buddy! <laughs> oh my god, he's cut in half. Okay. Guess we're not worrying about him. Bloody hell! Bugger me sideways! That was close. Very close. It's hardly over. The envoy, due to meet the Nilf Guardians tomorrow. No doubt Dijkstra ordered him killed. We'll need to protect him. Sorry, you're on your own, I've... You've had your fill of politics, I understand. Once it's over, come to Vizima. You'll be received with honors. Farewell, Wolf. Jeez, I pretty much just decided the fate of... all of the North? And half of it I wasn't even trying to there, alright? I wanted Radovid dead. That was my goal for today. But we have fucking Geekstra killed. And if you know the worst part about it? I actually kind of sort of agreed with Geekstra. I didn't want him to die. I wish there could have been another option there. I'm fine with the thought process that we shouldn't let Amir rule all of the North, right? That would suck. I mean, to be fair, Amir isn't nearly as bad as Radovid, but I still don't trust the Nelf Guardians completely. Oh boy. So if he hadn't tried to kill Roach and Vess and Taller, I would have totally been fine with all of that. What a weird set of events. That sucks. Ugh. <laughs> Maybe there could have been another way to handle that whole situation, but, oh well. He brought it on himself. He shouldn't have tried to kill everybody, including me. <laughs> Good luck, Witcher, then. Yeah, I had it.